so as a result of this friendship that we developed, um, Megan decided it would be a great idea to picket that festival that we were doing for three days. The festival's three days, they showed up with their family in tow, with their signs uh, to Long Beach, California, your rabbi is a whore. I mean, it was one of the ones that stood out the most for me. Um, she had a flag of Israel and a flag of America tied to her ankles, splattered with blood, dragging on the ground. And I was like, hey, Megan, nice to finally meet you. <laughs> And people are all around us yelling and screaming. They've got her family. There were about, what, not even a dozen of you, right? No, like six, maybe. Six. six. Or seven. And then, like, a hundred counter-protesters with, you know, like, God hates figs. Right? Yeah, somebody was, was dressed as the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny Another is Jesus. Right. And it was, uh, it was, it was trippy. And we're <laughs> civil with each other, of course, while she was holding all these horrific signs. And still debating about Leviticus all debating about Leviticus. That year we had um, a number of uh, young Jewish LGBTQ leaders, so they also came to visit, and um, she asks about them all the time. <laughs> um, and and it, was, uh, it, was, it was interesting because there was this sort of hateful context, but I was still able to be civil. I think I offered your little brother like some water and your mom yelled at me. <laughs> Um, and of course, the organized Jewish community in Long Beach was like, Abbot Ball, what the hell have you brought down upon us here? You know, they were so mad at me. I was like, I, I didn't do anything. But that's, that's part for the course. Um, and then I told her that I was going to the GA. The GA is the General Assembly of Jewish Federations in New Orleans. And she's like, we're going there too. <laughs> and so like old buddies were like, oh, okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're going to hell. <laughs> I think that's important to, well, let's finish this part and then I'll say right. yeah. So of course I met them in, in New Orleans and at this time I figured I'd bring them uh, some halva from, from <laughs> Shuk Mahayavada as a gift to be, you know, nice. And, and you brought me Kosher chocolate. Kosher chocolate mint, I remember. It was really good. You didn't even know it was kosher. He taught me about the kosher symbols on the back. I was like, checking it out. I was like, can I eat this? And I looked in the back, and there was a kosher sign. I was like, you know, this has been blessed by a rabbi who's going to hell. <laughs> so that was, that was fun. But something that you said afterward, um, you put up a, a blog post uh, right after that event in New Orleans. And I was really glad that you did that because... You know, of course, my family is also, you know, seeing these exchanges, and I, I wasn't afraid. Like I, I knew how strongly I believed in in our doctrines, but I think maybe some of them were thinking that there was a little, there's a little bit too much friendliness happening here. Um, and the fact that your blog post said, "Yeah, we have this rapport." You know, I came as soon as I arrived. I put my bags down and came out to. I, you know, skipped all the Jewish community that I was there to actually be with. I went straight to the picket line to say hello to Megan. Um, it was between you guys and, and the beignets. <laughs> New Orleans. And, but you said in that blog post that there's never any confusion about where we stood. And I felt the same way. We were firmly on opposite sides uh, of, of the question about you know what, what Judaism meant and whether it was good. And yet, even in spite of the fact that we were on opposite sides of this question, um, and we both so firmly, like very firmly believed that we, we each were right, um, we were still able to have that rapport. Um, and I thought that was really important. Right, so that was, obviously that was the whole key to our ability to be able to discuss things. And I, at no point in time, used foul language, though I was sorely tempted to. Um, every time she would bring up a passage, I would address it, I would bring up passages, she would address it, she was just as confident in her position as, as I was. The difference is I knew I was right. Um, and, and we were able to have that ongoing conversation and that ongoing discussion, and I think it was enlightening to both of us. It certainly ended up that way.